All right, guys, and welcome to the FIFA 21 career mode. Wow, I haven't done FIFA in a long time. I think the last time I did a FIFA series would have been... Well, if you go back on the channel and you go back a few years, it would have been my FIFA 17 uh, career mode that I did with Reading, uh, which is the team I'm going to be doing again because they're the team I support. They're my team I follow. And, uh, yeah, so it's just nice for me. It's a nice personal series to do because it's my favorite football team i'm a season ticket holder usually but with the current climate of the world obviously we haven't been able to go to any football games uh, i got to go to one when we allowed fans in for like two weeks and i was very thankful for that and uh i'm sure anyone else who went was also very thankful for that but we have to understand that the current climate we <clears throat> we can't even consider letting fans in at the moment but regardless of that we can still enjoy what it's like through virtual technology of course so anyway guys do uh please smash the like button below if you enjoy and uh, let's get going with this series i'm so excited i haven't done a fifa series in a long time uh so i've i've already done a little bit of transfer sort of scouting in a way um i just need to wait for the scout reports to come back so you've got a report that's far away oh, do we have a youth academy report already oh my god we already have a youth academy what I've only ever done one. I've only actually played through one career mode so far since getting FIFA 21. I haven't actually like done much on it at all though. Um, wow. Okay. So Christ, these are some low overall. So we do definitely need to look at making a better youth academy. Um, so the aim for this series is literally just sort of see how far we can go with Reading. It won't be like ten seasons long. God no. I may end up doing a Road to Glory series eventually as well, but with like a League Two team and take them up. But for now, I'm just sticking to kind of getting ready to like the Champions League and then hopefully winning it. I'm playing on legendary difficulty, which I don't usually do. Usually I'm on world class, but I found the world class is quite easy this year. So I've uh, bumped it up to legendary. Uh, I don't I, I don't know. I, I mean, you look meh. Probably just going to release you straight away. I'm not going to keep players who I don't think are going to do it. Like all of these, really, apart from this one player who looks pretty solid, actually. Uh, he's a left mid, or well, he's a left mid from Spain, or Sergio Mendes. Uh, he looks quite good, actually. Um, wouldn't mind his pace getting up a bit, but generally he's pretty decent. The rest of them I'm just going to get rid of. Uh, Shabalala. <laughs> I, I want, is that like a regen of the old uh, South African player? Uh, and Tuo, Bubakar Tuo. Sorry, Tuo, you are leaving. But Sergio Mendes will keep you around. Um, it'd be nice to have one or two players who can stay in the academy. Uh... First scout port. Okay, I never really trust will be scouting. Ah, yeah. Okay, so he's a player who I'm want who I'm having scouted anyway. In Fabio Silva, uh, I'll show you who I'm having scouted in a minute. Um, that's yeah. There's nothing really, gr nothing amazing on here really, apart from Fabio Silva. And I think Fabio Silva is a really good way to go because I played a. The other career mode I did has allowed me to understand which players to look for, and which players to kind of avoid. Um, basically go for the players who are going to just basically be amazing in like a few years time when you can sign other better players as well. Like there's a player I really want and I've got him on my short list, but I'm not going to sign him yet and I'll, but I'll go on to that in a bit. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. I don't really care about all this. We, yeah, we're doing the European International Cup, try and get some extra cash flow into the system because we've got no money. We've got nothing. <laughs> we've got faculty. Uh, if I go, yeah, look at that. that. That's pathetic, man. I mean, we've got a decent wage budget, admittedly, and I could turn that right down and get five million out of this, but it's it's really poor. It, it it's really really poor. I might just browse jobs already and find a better budget. This will be tricky. The good thing is we've got a very solid squad already. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to change this around though, big time. I'm not going to be going with this team. It's nice updated though. Like putting Elise to a 70 and Laurent up to a 71. That's really nice. Because I think Laurent was like a 66, 67 uh, when the game started. And Jar up to a 73 is handy. Swift 74. Um, I don't like... I don't know. This is, I think I'm going to go for two strikers. That's kind of the way I, I tend to go. Um, I'm probably going to go for like a... I don't know. Um... I mean, I don't. I mean, I like a four-one-two-one-two. One, two. I'm very accustomed to that. Uh, there's a few players I'm definitely not going to be keeping in the starting eleven. Like for me, this is the sort of ideal starting eleven. If I put Yeardom in, um, Holmes is a centre back to me. Always will be. Um, Aruna is actually highly, 
higher rated than Estevez. But I'll keep Estevez because he's a better backup probably for when we need him. Uh, we've got plenty of youth on the bench as well. Obviously, how old is Watson now, guys? 23. Jeez. Um, there's some players I need to just get rid of as well. Like, absolutely just just shift them off. And, like, players like Bulldog and probably even a Luko. I'm not that first. I think Samedo is a really good secondary option. Puskas will obviously come into the team, but I'm hoping to sign a striker anyway. I think I'll play Laurent over... Oh, I don't know. I'll probably play Rinomoto, actually, because he's younger. I think that'd be better. Uh, I don't like Ajaria playing on the wing. I, to be honest, I don't even think this is the team I'll be going for. I Basically, the reason why I want to go for two strikers is because I don't really like only one striker up top. I always find that they just get isolated, regardless of who the player is. But then Elise, I'd want him to play as well. You know what? No, we will go for the 4-2-3-1 for now. Um, with Jao up front. Swift, mm. <laughs> I don't know, because I want Elise to play. Elise could play right mid. I might just turn him into a right midfielder. Very tempting, because he's a left footer. If I do that, Mete will be on the bench. Mete could be also a sub-striker, which I'd be okay with. Laurent. I don't really like Ajara on the wing. I'd rather him be in the midfield as well. I'm not really sure at the moment. I feel like I'm going to end up selling some players. Like, I'm going to end up selling... Um, I don't know. Uh, Bulldog's going. Like I, <laughs> that's just for certain. He, he's he's going to be leaving. I don't care. Even if I have to fucking release him, I'll do it. Uh, Raf is fine as our centre back, as our goalkeeper. Richards obviously got great potential, so I'll be keeping him. I'll be looking for a better backup left back. But I'll be keeping him. I'll be looking for a new right back because as much as I love Andy Yardom, he's getting older, um, and we're going to want some youth in there to really sort of progress further. And the same with the centre-backs, really. Like, I can keep more for quite a while, because he's still only 27, and he grows quite well on this game. Uh, Morrison, however, will definitely need changing. God, that pace is terrible, man. <laughs> that is shocking. Uh, Reno and Laurent, I'll definitely be looking at a new midfielder. Yeah, I, do, I don't know. I don't know yet. Anyway, um, let's have a little look. I, know I will be doing a lot of editing in these videos, of course. There'll be a lot of cuts to new bits, but at the moment, I'm just going through everything. Um... As it is. Ah, uh, no, you know what? I'm going to make. Um. Ah, oh, is there a way of having. I don't mind that. Oh, I like that formation, actually. I like that a lot. I'm going to try this. It may not work. I may end up being very isolated, isolated in the midfield, but it could work because Reno's got really good pace. So what I'm thinking is at least say. And they can. Meta. I don't really like Meta playing on the wing, but I will. God, Laurent's got decent pace as well. Um, I'll play Meta on the wing for now. I like Elise and Swift being on those sides. But what will probably happen is Ajari will become a cam once I get a new player in. And then Renamoto will have to change to a central midfielder. Which I'm fine with, because I can play any of them, really. Even Samedo I can play if I want to. He's only 22, but he's a lone player, so I probably won't play him that much. Okay, that's fine. We'll go with that formation, and we'll see what we can do. I'm not going to change anyone's position yet, because I'd like to see if I can just sign a player or two. I'm looking especially for a centre-back and a... I, I sim all this, by the way. I need to actually play those, but I'll do that off-screen. That's fine. Uh, so what I need to do now is I need to think about what players we definitely need signing. So I'd say a centre-back for sure and probably two wingers. That that always seems to be the issue. Oh, here we go. Old Liam is piping up now. Let's have a look what he wants to say. Greetings, boss. On behalf of the whole team, wanted to welcome you to Reading. Uh, future exam, we've got plenty of, yeah, we've got plenty of work to do. Let's get him grounded straight away, you know. We've we've underperformed in recent years, so we need to push it up this season. I'm look I'm hoping to get top six, definitely. Um yeah, I'll make sure I definitely do the fitness and sharpness stuff. I mean, uh, the uh, the training. Because obviously once you've done it once, it just goes through automatically. 
Okay, guys, so I will cut now to the first friendly game, which we will probably... Actually, not now. We're, we're going to send the... <laughs> I can't be asked. I really cannot be asked to play the friendly games. I know you can get some, a decent bit of cash out of it, but I'm really not that fast at all. Uh, we get a draw at the first one, and I'm going to just sim all the way to the ninth, and hopefully we can get... You know, even another draw will be okay. I'll keep us in there. Oh, we actually won. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so when are we going to start getting scout reports back? I'm hoping not too long. We've got a transfer offer for Jow. Wow, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, definitely no. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not going to be a future player for us. Like, in a few seasons' time, I'm sure we'll end up getting rid of him. But, uh, oh, wait, that's what I need to do. I need to get rid of players. That is what I need to do. I need to sell some players. Um, only really two that I want to sell. And even Luke, I'm a bit funny about because we could use the winger. We've got too many centre-backs. I think I'm going to put Nelson at... Oh, he's only 16. Maybe not. Well, Gibson's a lone player. I don't think... Uh, okay. Uh, well, Watson, I think we're going to sell you off, obviously. Uh, Estevez is just a loan. Semedo's a loan. Actually, let me just check. Have they put them as loan? Yeah, they have. Um, Tetek, his contract expiring, so I'll make a choice on that later. Ryan East, yeah, I might as well. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to sell players who I know I'm not going to use. Like Tetek, I'm not going to use him. Um, in real life, they got great potential, but for now, I mean, I'll keep Jay Nonan. Like, I think for, for, you know, his contract expiring again, but hopefully we can get him done something. We've got so many players who I just don't care about. God damn. Okay, Bulldog, you can piss off. Um, I'll keep Melvin Lambert for now. I probably will end up selling him off though. I meant Aluka. I know he's like he's our only right mid in the club, but we'll add him to transfer list anyway. He won't go for anything. I need to solve this squad out. Okay, so now we're back at the shortlist, and wow, these players are a lot high, more highly rated than I thought they were going to be. God damn. Like, he was a player I really wanted to think about bringing in. Because if he moved his left wing back, I'd have turned him into a left mid. Like, a lot of these players will stay on my shortlist anyway. Um, like, Saliba, he'll, he'll stay on my shortlist, because these are players who've got really nice growth um, room, definitely. God, we're really going to struggle. I mean, we could definitely get Jeremy Fringpong, definitely. Definitely an option. This is a player I'd like a lot. Sturgeon, because he's got sort of Sturgeon. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. If you guys could tell me how to pronounce names, that'd be lovely. But uh, this is the player I really want, because I in my other career mode, I've got him up to a 96 overall. I don't know how. I just did it. And I think next season, he's going to be a player to try and get. Um, same with this guy. Like, look at that. That's insane. Rayner, 17 years old, 75 overall. These are the two players I'm definitely going to be looking at next season. Uh, Casado is a winger. Again, we're probably going to struggle to sign him. But this player is also a winger, and he looks more likely. And um, then Fabio Silva is still waiting on. So I think I'm going to be clever, because I haven't really got the wage at the, mo uh, the budget at the moment. I'd like to be able to get Fabio Silva as well. So what I think I'm going to do is definitely sign Durami. Definitely, find, uh, definitely sign Sturgeu. Sturg I'm going to say Sturgeu for now. And then hopefully maybe try and get Fabio Silva on loan if need be. Um, and then these players, like, a lot of these players I'll, I'm going to want to get. But I'll just wait until next season at this point because I just don't have the funds for it at the moment. And I don't really want to sell players like Elise and Ajaria and players like that. Um, I'll keep Ajaria as a left mid if I have to. Like, that's not the end of the world. But I'd have liked to have had a more dynamic... Um, midfielder. So I think we're going to try and sign... I mean, he's, he's got such a low wage budget that it doesn't even matter anyway. And I think he has even less. So I think we might definitely try and get this guy because we definitely need better centre -back, young centre-back options. Uh, I know we've got Holmes and McIntyre, but I just think I'd like a player with a lot of growth. And then Durami as well. So, okay, we're going to try and sign Sturge straight away. Um, if I can't get Fabio Silva, it's not the end of the world. Because I can just sign... I could always just get him on loan if need be. I think we'll be looking at loan players as well. Uh, we're just going to go straight in with 2.2. We're just going to do his valuation. And see what they're saying. I do skip all this. That's interesting. 
That's very interesting. So I, I, I know a lot of Reading fans would hate me for this. Because T-Mac is like... Reading through and through. But... <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna take that. I'm 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 happy with that. I'll 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 take that. Uh yeah, we'll, we're gonna try and sign this player then. Wow. Okay. As long as McIntyre's okay to leave. I mean, he hasn't really got much of a choice. I want him. I, I don't. I'm not going to use him. So. Yeah. Fine by me. Rotation. Perfectly fine. God, this is gonna be a long first video. I can tell you that for something. Uh, I'd like to try and sign you on a five-year deal if possible. Beautiful. Great. Obviously, it's risky trying to sign. Young players with a low overall. Um, two grand, is that okay? Cool. Um, <laughs> it's, it's risky because they may just end up not doing anything for me. But, you know. Uh, should we see if we can sign Durami now as well? Or shall I wait? I think I'm going to wait. Uh, I'll keep these players in my shortlist. Obviously, if there's players in the future who I'd love to get. You know, players like... Anzu Fetti, and uh, I do know so Brian and Burmo is a really good signing on this game. I don't know if it would be the same now, but yeah. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to sim up now and see what we can get going in the preseason tournament, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so <laughs> we actually ended up losing our last friendly 5-2. I know I simmed it, but that's ridiculous. So we ended up only getting just over a million in extra funds, which is a shame because Fabio Silva is worth a lot more than that. So I might try and see if I can loan him. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Uh, it, I, I might need to look at loaning some players. I'm going to sign Durami. But, and I might, and I think I'm going to try and make him a... I don't know. I don't know. Let me see if I can sign him first. I think that's the best option. So we're just going to go straight in with the 2.1... As his valuation is, it's nice to have players with a lot of potential. Okay. You know, I might take that. <laughs> because I like Puskas. Oh my god, why am I trying to exchange every player with me? I might take that. That's only 890k for a player who's going to grow more than Puskas. So I'm going to take that. I know it's a striker. And we're already pretty low on strike. Well, I say we're low on strikers. we got Mete. We can literally just play Mete. And we might be able to get Fabio Silva now. This is crazy, man. This is so crazy. Okay. Durami. If we can get this guy. He's going to be important because he's actually going to be a starting player, so. Yes, please. Five-year deal. What is going on? <laughs> These negotiations are a lot easier than they should be. Just tell me what you want. I don't really want to have to give you a wage. Uh, I hate when I have to decide their wage for them. I'm going to just... I always put up to... like I always round it up to the higher thousand and then we go. Nice. Okay. That was really easy, actually. Is there any player? So we can't sign you. We definitely can't sign you. Could have signed you, to be fair. But I do. I'd love to be able to sign. So we can't sign you, obviously. Uh, Caseda we could sign, actually. And then Silver we could sign. Okay. What I need is to sell. Is for some players to sell. What I'm going to do, as much as I'd like to keep some of these players, I'm going to remove the ones I'm definitely not going to be able to get. I'm going to keep... I'm going to come back for Boado and Reina next season anyway. These are the three we're definitely going to be able to sign. Fring Pong is not a necessity this season because we've got enough right backs. Casado would be a really nice choice and option because then we could have what we could do then is turn Ajaria into a midfielder. I'm almost tempted to sell Rinamota. <laughs> and the reason for that. Oh, man. Okay. So, the reason why I'm thinking about selling Rinomota, right? Bear with me here. If I put Swift into the central midfield role, which is perfectly fine by me, we've got Laurent on the bench and we've got Samedo on the bench. Whereas, I know Rinomota has a much higher value. Rinomota won't grow that much. I don't think. It will grow a little bit, but because he's, he's 23 now. He isn't going to grow any more than a 78, probably. I know that Swift can get over 80. I know he can. Okay. So, we're going to try and sign Casado Because we've got the money for him. We can straight up just do that. And I think Wing is a definite priority this year. So, we're going to come in with a 3 mil. Which really fucks our budget up. <gasps> uh! 
Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll, 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 I'll take that because I can still sign him. This is what I mean. I'm not too fussed about losing out on Silver if it means I can sign Casado. So for me, the wingers are definitely more important this season. Way more important. Even though they're not as good as the current wingers. Well, I say that. We only actually had one right midfielder. Okay, he's only going to be worth 5k as well. So we'll put who's an important because you know you're going to get game time. <laughs> yep, cool. I do tend to skip all this. So five years, that'd be lovely because he's 20. Cool. Nice. It means then I have a better option to sell him on. Uh, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah, okay, fine. I don't think you'll get 10 goals, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, cool. Alrighty, so we've now got our wingers. So I've actually gone and signed wingers. I'm really happy with that. And now we'll go, have to change some positioning around. But he's a player I'm really happy I was able to bring in. Like, r really happy. And I am probably planning on selling Rinomota. If Rinomota doesn't sell, then fine. But right now, I'm not that fast at all. Okay, guys. So it's been a little while. And I've gone through and done a lot of the training sessions. So now I can just simulate all those. And we can get the sharpness up. Ready for the start of the season. And finally, as I was waiting for, we've got the offer for Rinomota. So what we're going to do... I would like to try and get 4 mil out of him. I know he's only worth 3.2, but they're giving us 3.6. If I can get up to between 3.8 and 4 mil, that will get us Fabio Silva. <laughs> and then I will be done with my transfer business and everything would have gone swimmingly well. Okay, can we have 4 mil, please? That's all I'm asking. Just just a few extra 100,000 on there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, perfect. Right, so hopefully now, in the next few days, we will find out... The Rinomoto is sold, and if that happens, we can then go and sell. Right, I can just do that because sharpness is going to go up now. Very nice. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, ready for our first game of the season, which is going to be against Birmingham, apparently. Okay, I forgot they don't use the uh, normal fixtures uh, as they have done the last previous seasons, but I don't mind that. That's exciting. Okay, come on, give me that Rinomoto that's sold thing. Cause that, okay, that's it. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. Yes, okay, and we've got a meta transfer offer as well, wow. Let's also have a little look at this guy, because he is a winger, and we definitely need to keep our eye on him, so his potential's gone down massively, all of a sudden, or it's kind of, you know, it's shrunk. They've only given me 2.8 mil. They've given me 2, they've just taken a 1.2 mil from me. You're taking the piss. I'm not going to sell meta, because at the moment he's our only backup striker and winger. 2.8 mil? Are you dizzy? I'm not even going to be able to get fucking... Oh. Okay, hold on. What we need to do then, let's have a look at his at Silver's weight. So, to that, I could always try and get Frimpong, maybe. He's 13k. 12k. So, let's say I go to offer him 15. Let's say. Yeah, I'm doing quick maths and all that. <laughs> if I put that right down to 50... Oh, yeah, more than enough. More than enough. More than enough. I can put it to 20k and I'll still be able to sign him. Okay, let's go and sign him. I'd like to get Jeremy Frimpong, but he's not a necessity right now. He's really not. Whereas I do believe Fabio Silva is. I truly believe that. He's a player who has uh, got a lot of potential. 17 years old and is already almost 70 overall. Yes, fucking please. Okay, let's see if we can get him. Let's just go with his valuation. 3.2. Let's just go with that and see what happens. Okay, they're on 4 mil. Perfect, fine. I'll take it with a selling clause of 5%, which could be an issue because I probably will end up selling him one day when, he, when he's worth a lot more money. But as long as he doesn't want too many bonuses, I should be fine. And this, this will be it now. This will be the last deal I can make. So I'm not looking at buying anyone. I'm still looking to sell some players, but I'm not looking to buy anyone. Okay. I'm going to turn Meta... Beautiful. I'm also going to turn Mete into a winger, I think, because I could really use the backup winger. Okay, cool. He wanted fuck all for bonuses. Nice. Cool. Fabio Silva is in the bag. So what we're now going to do, I'm going to keep Frimpong in there, just in case, because we may have to do an emergency signing or something. What I want to do now is I want to make everyone their proper position. So, for example, Silva, we're going for Bulldog, and Silva's going to be our main striker. That's that simple. Laron and Semedo will be our midfielders. I'm going to turn Laron into a normal central midfielder. Now that Rinomoto's gone. Bulldog I'm still hoping to sell. 
Ryan East I'm still hoping to sell. Tetek and Watson. This whole bottom line I'm hoping to try and get out. At the moment, though, we've got a really nice structure to the squad. Um, Silver obviously going to be our backup striker. So at the moment, everyone's pretty much in their key position. I want to turn Durami into left mid. I'm going to go do that. Ajari, I'm going to turn into a full-on attacking midfielder. Laurent is going to become a central midfielder. So we'll do that. And Mehmeta is going to become a right midfielder. Okay. Alright guys, well I'm going to do that off screen. And uh, I'm going to end this part here. Because this has been quite a long introductory video. Uh, for a FIFA series. So I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please smash the like button below. I am so excited to get this series properly underway. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please smash the like button. Subscribe around here if you're new for more FIFA content. I also do Let's Plays on this channel as well. My current one is Batman Arkham Knight because I'm going back and doing the original Batman games. Uh, eventually, I'll do some newer games in the future as well. But anyway, guys, hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Take it easy.